U.S. President Barack Obama is pushing for congressional authorization in support of U.S. military action against Syria for allegedly using poison gas on its own citizens outside Damascus last month, killing more than 1,000 people. Top U.S. lawmakers were briefed on Sunday on intelligence regarding the Syrian military's use of chemical weapons. As VOA's Michael Bowman reports, Washington is far from united on the wisdom, much less the timing of strikes against President Bashar al-Assad's regime. Secretary Kerry says new information about chemical weapons use in Syria strengthens the case for military action. We now have evidence from hair and blood samples from, uh, from first responders in East Damascus, uh, the people who came to help. We have, uh, we have uh, signatures of sarin in their hair and blood samples. So the case is growing stronger by the day. Kerry defended President Barack Obama's decision to seek congressional approval for military strikes. I think it's a courageous decision. He is not trying to create uh, uh, an imperial presidency. Republican Senator John McCain ridiculed U.S. inaction. When the president of the United States said that he was going, that it was a red line, he didn't say that it's a red line and by the way, I'm going to have to seek the approval of Congress. He said it was a red line and the United States of America would act. Some lawmakers doubt Congress will authorize the use of force. Republican Senator Saxby Chambliss. I would say if the president cannot make his case to Congress, then it's not going to pass. He's got to come out and really be in-depth with respect to the intelligence that we know is out there. He's got to be in-depth with respect to what type of military action is going to be taken. U.S. officials provided a classified briefing to members of Congress Sunday. Afterwards, several lawmakers said they are convinced that chemical weapons were used in Syria. But questions remain, according to Democratic Congresswoman Janice Hahn. Is this a reason to go to war? Uh, what is the objectives of going to war? Uh, what authorization are we actually giving our president? Hahn says the United States should not have to act alone. Where is the international community if this is such an outrage, if this is so abhorrent to everyone? Republican Congressman Scott Rigel praised the president's decision to seek congressional approval, but said he is a no vote for now. I'm a no because the, the clarity of where all of this goes, the definition of, of that we've accomplished the mission, that is still uh, unclear to me. By contrast, Democratic Representative Sandy Levin backs military intervention in Syria. I have confidence that members of Congress will step up to the plate because if we do nothing, uh, I think it sends the very wrong message. Saturday, President Obama said he does not need Congress's permission to order a strike, but nevertheless wants the backing of the nation's representatives in Washington. The full Congress returns to work September 9th. Michael Bowman, VOA News, Washington.